in my daily Bible reading, I, I'm in the midst of uh, the book of Galatians. And in my Christian life, I've probably read Galatians eh, maybe a half dozen times or so. And I never caught this. Um, and, and I have a question for the Muslims out there. Now, Muslims, you would say that Paul was not a true preacher of the message of Jesus Christ. He perverted it. And we needed Muhammad to get it back. If Paul was a perverter of the message and his message not following the Jewish law, not being circumcised, was in fact not approved by God, um, could you explain to me Galatians uh, chapter 3, verse 5? Paul is coming down on the Galatians for their tendency to go back, you know, want to keep the law, the Jewish law, be circumcised. And Paul was down. And he says in chapter 3, verse 5, Does God give you his spirit and work miracles among because you observe the law or because you believe what you heard? Now my question is this. If Paul, you know, Paul had stayed with the Galatians. Paul was trying to persuade the Galatians of his position. It would appear that upon believing Paul's message, there were some pretty serious miracles performed amongst the Galatians. And it was proof positive that gave the Galatians the Holy Spirit and, you know, performed those miracles among them because of that. Because they were following the message that Paul preached to them. My question is, why would God allow that to happen to a bunch of people who just were believing what they thought was true, Paul's message, if you're saying Paul per perverted that message. Um, he's reminding them of the, of the miracles that were worked among them when they believed his message, because you believe what you heard. Um, something to think about. See you next time.